Is belly fat inevitable? Should we just give up and accept that when you get to a certain age, usually over 40 and around the time of menopause, you're gonna get belly fat and there's not much you can do about it. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in amazing shape. But I am seeing a lot of stuff online that's actually, you know, articles, information, video content about getting in shape around a menopause and one of the big messages that I see, and I would love to know what you think about this, is that you need to accept that you've got belly fat, you've got this middle age spread, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm gonna read an article that I actually found in British Vogue that really highlights this kind of attitude. It says, eating healthy and remaining active throughout the menopause transition are vitally important but so too is a certain radical acceptance. Part of that acceptance is related to the impact gravity and time will inevitably have on our faces, hair and bodies. The dress that you wore and loved in your 20s may not fit anymore and if it does it's likely it fits differently which is repeat after me perfectly normal and just like that you you should embrace a bit of belly and move on. Now, I actually agree with some of that statement, but I disagree with the fact that you should just consider that you've just got this belly, you embrace this belly and there's nothing you can do about it and you just move on. Because whilst you may not look like you did in your 20s and 30s, you can radically improve what you've got and make the best of what you've got. I think it's really important to actually strive to reduce belly fat because with belly fat actually comes a number of health problems like heart disease but there are kind of loads of other health conditions that are to do with visceral fat and visceral fat is when you're carrying a lot more fat around your midsection and that fat kind of sits around your organs so there are tons of health benefits never mind how you feel about yourself and feeling good in the clothes that you're wearing feeling good in swimwear so I just completely disagree with that idea of of like just giving up and just resigning yourself to the fact that you're gonna have this belly fat. Now, what I do agree with is that you age and you may not look like you did in your younger days, but you know, going on my own experience and lots of women that I work with, lots of women that I know, you can completely transform your body. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you've gotta go on extreme diets or spending tons of time in the gym. People assume that I spend tons of time in the gym. I actually work out for about an hour, you know, four times a week, maybe five times a week. So it's not a massive amount when you think about how much your life is every day, how many hours you've got in the day. It's not that much and it's not every day. You do need to change your lifestyle when it comes to eating and I've made loads of videos about that. But it's not about going on extreme diets. It's not about going Going on really low calories or starving yourself. It's about building in a lifestyle that you can actually do for the rest of your life. I would love to know your comments. Please comment below on what you think about this.